Hi, I'm Judy Herman. I'm the Brain Entertainer, here to entertain your brain with some tips and tricks for memory improvement and puzzles and word games to activate different areas of your brain. Today we're going to be proverbially speaking. I've created some brain entertainment to exercise your memory and reasoning skills. We're going to be looking at some proverbs and some will be familiar, others you may not know, but by the end you'll get to know them all. But first, a little note from me. I prepare all my presentations from small classes to large groups with one goal. Engage my audiences with entertaining brain games designed to stimulate different areas of the brain. In addition to featuring original material, I'm also a curator of information culling from multiple sources online, on air, and in print. This material is then adapted and used to create a collage of useful tips, engaging word games, and challenging puzzles. As an example, the Brain Trainer teaser here is based on one originally created by Dr. Pascal Michelon, writing for Sharp Brains, a research company which tracks health and performance applications of brain science. Dr. Michelon has a PhD in cognitive psychology and has worked as a research scientist at Washington University in St. Louis. In the psychology department there, she conducted several research projects and published her results. Dr. Michelon's work has helped me understand how the brain makes use of visual information and memorizes facts. I've understood how the brain processes verbal connections and how we can improve focus and attention. Much of what I've learned I've adapted into activities to share with my classes and continue to extend the learning and growth opportunities of all materials that I research. The concepts then become easier to understand through entertaining games targeted to activate different areas of the brain. We have mazes for spatial ability and navigation, anagrams and other word games for vocabulary and communication, logic puzzles which work on your frontal lobe and executive functions, word searches for focus and concentration, and even some math. I call them arithmetics. And that's brain entertainment, a unique combination of entertainment and brain training, always designed with fun in mind. Here's a simple diagram of the brain to give you an idea where some of these areas are. We're looking sideways and we see at the bottom in blue the cerebellum, which is our motor skills area. Walking and balance are controlled there. And then we have four lobes on each side of the brain. The occipital lobe is for vision, and the parietal lobe makes us aware of sensory activity. But studies like Dr. Michelin's have shown that memory relies mostly on the temporal lobes in green, which are located behind your eyes and above your ears, and the frontal lobe, which is located behind your forehead. Neurons and synapses in these areas are stimulated when you try to remember the missing words in the following familiar U.S. proverbs especially if you are an American or have lived in the United States for a long time. So here we have some familiar U.S. proverbs. 
You may know them in a little different language, but the message is still the same. So number one, the early bird gets the blank. Number two, after all is blank and done, more is said than blank. Number three, from blank beginnings come great blank. Number four, don't blank horses while crossing a blank. And number five, there are three kinds of blank. Those who make blank happen, those who watch things blank, and those who don't know what's blank. I'll give you a few more seconds to have a look at these and come up with the answers. I hope you were able to remember some of those proverbs. However, when it comes to the international proverbs, you will probably have to rely more on your reasoning skills than on your memory skills, as it's likely that you do not know these proverbs. You'll have to figure them out. And in this case, the frontal lobe exercise is more intense because that's where we get to use our logic and reasoning. So here are our international proverbs. Number one, write injuries in sand, kindnesses in blank. They know that one in France. Number two, if you are looking for a fly in your food, it means that you are blank in South Africa. Number three, behold the iguana puffing itself out to make itself a blank, again from South Africa. Number four, milk the cow, but do not pull off the blank in Greece. And number five, if you want to gather a lot of knowledge, act as if you are blank in Vietnam. I'll give you a couple more seconds to have a look at these. Trickier because you have to figure out what the meaning might be. So I'm going to give you the answers to the Proverbs in just a moment. But first, I have a little secret for you. Getting the answers is not always the most important part of doing a puzzle. Actually trying to find the answers works your brain whether you get the correct answer or not. That's what's great. And now, for the answers to our puzzle, drum roll, please. So here are our U.S. proverbs. The early bird gets the worm. Maybe the worm should sleep later in the day. Number two, after all is said and done, more is said than done. Number three. From small beginnings come great things, or from little acorns, giant oaks grow. Same idea. Number four, don't change horses while crossing a stream, or don't switch horses midstream. Number five, there are three kinds of people, those who make things happen, those who watch things happen, and those who just don't know what's happening. And here are our international proverbs. Number one, write injuries in sand, kindnesses in marble. 
or stone even if you put that in. Number two, if you're looking for a fly in your food, it means that you are full or just not hungry because you already ate enough. Number three, behold the iguana puffing itself out to make itself a man. I thought a dragon, actually. Number four, milk the cow, but do not pull off the udder. That would be utterly ridiculous. And number five, if you want to gather a lot of knowledge, act as if you are ignorant. Hmm, good advice, I think. And here's even more good advice. Some brain entertainer tips to remember. We learned that proverbs are familiar sayings or pithy morals that become widely known within a country or culture. We remember not just the words, but interpretations and extensions of the meanings. These become important life lessons for us all, and they are forever embedded in our collective memory. However, when we encounter sayings from another culture or country, our reasoning power is called upon to figure out the possible meaning, which may be unfamiliar. And we learn something new that becomes another life lesson. So don't forget when you extend your learning, in this case, trying to think of additional proverbs like a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush or a rolling stone gathers no moss, you begin a process called neurogenesis in your brain. New neurons, which are your brain cells, and synapses, connections between those brain cells, are created, Genesis from the Bible, through linking additional new or already known information to a recently learned concept. So we've come to the end of this presentation. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm Judy Herman, the Brain Entertainer, reminding you to stop complaining and start brain training. We have memory improvement techniques, effective thinking strategies, entertaining logic puzzles, and engaging word games. And that's Braintertainment. And I say thank you so much for being with me. I look forward to seeing you again. Bye for now.